Hey guys, this is Rob, and I'm here to show off my new one line slash single line diagram pack that is available for purchase. If you've ever worked in Revit electrically and found it's time to do a one line or single line diagram, you will notice that Revit does not have any out of the box symbols, even for a simple diagram such as this. So what we have here is pre-made symbol families, and these families are customizable. You could open them in the family editor. They're fully editable, and you can stretch things around and change them if you want. Right now, they're a decent size for a diagram, so they're good to go out of the box if you like. They are created in Revit version 2020, so that means they can work at anything 2020 and more recent. And just to clarify, these are just dumb symbols that are put into a drafting view. They do not relate to your model at all. So let me just kind of briefly show you what we have. We have the standard circuit breaker feeding up from a bus or feeding down. We have a fused switch. We have a meter main type of breaker and meter. We have motors up and down, and we have just switches up and down. And you can draw boxes around these however you like, put them in a larger panel, which I'll show in a minute. We also have horizontal breaker and horizontal fused switch, as well as a smaller horizontal breaker, if that suits you. We have just a meter symbol, we have a CT or a current transformer symbol, and we have a fused disconnect. We also have some other symbols that can be edited for a surge protection device. You could call this VFD. You can put these standalone in your diagram or drag them into a panel. We have a continuation symbol. We have a feeder label that you can tie to a feeder schedule, for example. We have a stub up that goes on top of a line. And we have a tiny little breaker that can be dragged into a panel to show a sub feed if you like. We also have a load center main circuit breaker and a load center main lug only. And the same thing for panel boards. We have a meter stack with breakers. We have a transformer. We have a generator. We have two different versions of transfer switches. We have one here that's larger and we have a small one here. And then we also have a pad mount transformer. So these are the basic symbols that you can draw most diagrams with. And speaking of diagrams, this pack also comes with a few sample diagrams. For example, here's a simple single line with a pad mount, the stub feeding through a CT can and meter into a main distribution panel with main circuit breaker, a bus and feeder breakers with feeders labeled and panel boards. These are just symbols and different line types to create the enclosures and text to label things. And then we can also, of course, do a 480 volt system where we have similar pieces. We have transformers installed now, which have fully editable text. Here's the meter stack, and you can see that you can have one through five meters in each stack and just place them next to each other with the load centers fed from that. We have the meter main for a house service, for example, and more transformers. And then we even have the transfer switch with the generator and all of that. All these values are contained in labels right in the symbol. And let me show you a few highlights. For example, this little guy, click on it and you can change the text. These, you can click on the text and change both the value of the breaker, the trip setting, and the number of poles. And same thing with fuses and switches. Up here at the motor, all three lines are individually changeable by just clicking on it and typing. No family editing needed. Down here you can change the name of that panel or load center. Over here, the meters, you click on the meter and go to the right, you can have meter two, three, four, five. You can remove one and get it down to a single meter if you like. The transformer has four lines of text. You can change what you call these. You can call this normal and emergency if you like. This one has no labels. This generator has two feeder breakers right now, but you can turn off second breaker and make it a single feed. And then these are all text that can be edited. You can put the voltage in here and then the breaker rating. And then the transformer, 
Right now it shows a vault underneath it. You can click on this and turn off vault and you just have a pad mount transformer. Now to use these in your projects, you can simply go down to the group of them, click on the group, control C copy, and then open up your model and just simply paste it in as a group and it will show up populating your families under annotation symbols. You can also go down to the groups section of your project browser and you will find the samples as well as the symbols that can be right click copy to clipboard. So these are actually groups as well. As an added bonus to these symbols, you will notice in this diagram that the symbols are dashed. And we also have a dashed line type for drawing your existing systems. So you can draw an existing system and then add new systems to it. That is accomplished back at the symbol level. Every symbol, if you click on it, has a graphic setting existing or not. Right now it's not. If you click on existing, it simply turns dashed automatically. So it is very, very easy to create an existing and new system. And the line type used for this is custom. If you want to change it from a tight dash to a more open dash or a thicker line type, you can simply go to manage object styles, annotation objects, and go down to the generic annotation category. And you will see an expander here that shows the other align types. And we have a one line existing and one line new. You can change existing to a fatter line type if you want. Get it up to six and make it pop and you will see that those instantly change. And if you do copy paste this sample diagram, the existing line type will also come with it that you can get up to in a different way under additional settings, line styles, under lines, you will see here that we have one line borders, one line buses, one line existing, one line new, all of these line types that can be customized and changed as you see fit in your model. So you can spend hours creating your own symbols such as this, or for the price of about an hour of billable time, you can easily just click on the link in the description below and purchase this pack today. Now this is version one of this one line single line pack and any future updates, bug fixes, additions will be included with your purchase. And I very much welcome feedback. If you have comments or suggestions about this pack, you're welcome to leave a comment below. If you have other symbols that you think would be nice to have included, just let me know and I will see if I can do that. But I hope this helps you to increase your productivity and your quality of drawings in your Revit electrical projects.